हेलो गेमर वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल विद अनदर वीडियो इट्स मी बिलाल बाजवा योर फेवरेट कैट एंड टुडेज वीडियो वी हैव अ वेरी स्पेशल गेस्ट फ्रॉम 2891 ही इज माय ब्रदर इन आर्म एंड माय बेस्ट फ्रेंड एंड आल्सो फेलो किंग फ्रॉम आवर किंगडम एंड ही विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर किंगडम ही विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट आवर के वी के दैट हाउ इट वेंट वी विल टॉक अबाउट डिप्लोमेसी आवर लॉयज एंड स्टफ लाइक दिस फ्रॉम आवर के वी के Hello brother are you there Yo 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 hey guys hey favorite cat Bilal you okay Yeah yeah bro I am fine as always you tell me bro how are you Absolutely buzzing oh. we destroyed 93 yo. we won KVK2 and, and we got our second star Yeah yeah twinkle twinkle little star what you wonder where you are what something like this <laughs> <laughs> yes the second star is here we got it last night everyone in the kingdom is buzzing you know they got their rewards which they want you know deserved fully our allies got their rewards and yeah it's such a great feeling all our hard work paid off you know really well organized well thought out well crafted and very very enjoyable KVK too. Yes, yeah, it was amazing. I I am watching the our rewards. We got like uh, many rewards today. Uh, I can see them yeah, on my bro. system. <laughs> <laughs> That was amazing. Yeah, and we got Vuzetian. Oh for yeah, KVK we got a Vuzetian as well. Yeah. Yes, I can. Yeah. yeah so. No, no, it's been really good, really good, and I'm glad to be here. So. I can explain to your viewers a bit about how we led up to our victory. Yeah, yeah. Things that happened, you know. Yeah, you know, really there there is many rumors that uh, we wanted to do uh, seven versus one. So it will be better if you can explain the whole diplomacy. For oh Kevin. my God, I he- I heard that rumor seven versus one. Guys, listen. You know there was a lot of rumors spread. That was one of. the later ones that we wanted to do 7 versus 1 hmm. we are a professional outfit we are not stupid why would we hurt everyone in our kingdom by going up against seven big big strong kingdoms okay yes we are good we're not that good to take on seven you know in kvk2 as well when you only have 30 people for cross season like in what world would you think that you know and people actually believe these rumors come on guys if you've got any sort of experience you would know we picked our allies okay 0001 95 we weren't going to pick them because we had no idea that they were going to be in that C day no one did okay 98 was supposed to be the ones okay we were going to we weren't even going to do 3 versus 5 we were going to do four versus four we respect our and you know our opponents they were really strong kingdoms 93 very strong kingdom 02 very strong kingdom 89 very strong kingdom 90 not no so not great. 90 bro not okay? 90 no but they were not so great i said oh okay okay, okay. these are our opponents okay right then we had we had 00 we had 01 okay These, you know really good kingdoms as well and guys in 02 we did not pick you guys as allies because we wanted to have you were too good if we had picked 02 as our allies and they would have gone with us okay right they kvk was over it would have been a boring kvk we would have been way too strong okay and you know our fighters that came in on through through migration cross season we promised them a fight and we love our fighting our kvk what one was you know brutal and this kvk was just as brutal and we didn't pick you guys in 02 because if we did it was over so and we showed respect to that so guys that's what it is and you guys proved it as well in this kvk because you guys were the most well organized the best really good accounts for the size of your kingdom you did yourselves proud and you proved our our point why we shouldn't have hit you if we wanted a fighting kingdom so that was the first rumor that i want to and it was all spread by 
the ones that said all the bad things about our kingdom, our leadership. Apparently, we sell kingdoms. <laughs> Apparently, oh, we, we, we're not <clears throat> organized. Apparently, you know, we're liars. We kept our word to every single pe person from KVK1. And our kingdom grew a lot bigger than yours, 93. Why? Because people know us. Not everyone believes the, the rubbish that comes out of your mouth. And because of that rubbish... And bro, you, you see what happened, what is happening in 93 no, now? No, I just want to say karma is a bitch, right? And that's why you uh, got humiliated, absolutely humiliated. Because on paper, it was an even, even KVK on power. It was your organization that <clears> let you down. 93, the fact that you could not handle it and yeah. your lies shove them where the sun don't shine so and I also they have been people. spreading that it was uh, 4 versus 4 and uh, we picked 3 imperium kingdoms or something like this so what do you want to say about four, that 4 versus 4 uh, look at the power rankings okay yeah yeah it was yeah. 4 versus 4 okay that's the first thing i want to say okay because when lose when you some people lose or they know they're gonna lose because they doubt themselves because of their organizational skills they will start say, saying rumors like you know so they like start Donald making Trump excuses election, something like this like like the election you know he was saying the election was already rigged because he knew he was gonna lose it's the same thing we won this KVK with one kingdom locked up with internal problems who did not even fight apart from when Pass 4 opened. We won this pass kingdom five, with pass 95... Five. Pass 5, sorry, yeah? Okay, we won this, this KVK with another kingdom, 95, who couldn't even bring out, uh, you know, 30 players to a fight. Okay, because they just were too, too weak for this KVK. It was our kingdom and zero zero for the most of KVK that fought your four kingdoms. Yeah, yeah. And we destroyed them. Okay. So really, if you look at it, it was our zero one was blocked in from the start. Okay. As soon as past five opened, eighty nine and zero two blocked them in within five six hours and hurt them. They couldn't get out. When we fought and got them out we then blocked zero two in we also helped uh, zero zero did a phenomenal job 93 you absolute wasters do you remember you know, the fight super, of 93 super, against zero zero exactly that's what i was gonna say you absolute wasters of leadership in 93 yeah apart from you know, Hitachi, who fought amazing, yeah, okay, and respect to him, okay. You've got Sam there and Seppi, who, who, who've been in four different kingdoms, who've, you know, abandoned every kingdom and got to 93. Got he, to was, uh, he was our rank four bro before KVK1. And uh, I know. we had and to he, kick him he, from he, our kingdom. You remember that? Yeah, because he wanted, he had no experience, he had no idea how to run a big kingdom, and he wanted to have an input, and the things that he was saying were completely wrong. And when we didn't listen, he didn't like it, okay? And then he took a lot of our players from there, which was fine. Anyone who followed him are all losers right now, okay? <laughs> yeah. And it just let us get decent players in, okay? I mean, our, he was in our second alliance, okay? So... The leader of our second alliance got a bit worried when he lost players, but we said, don't worry, we've got a good reputation. As soon as migration opened, boom. Boom, boom. You know, it was, you know, over 5 billion. And with, you know, so, uh, he, he, but, they used to say they are very experienced. And you saw they were fighting in two sides uh, when Pass 5 opened, like uh, in Masha and also in Dimborko. And, uh, so, uh, let, let me explain about the experience, Bilal. Okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, of course. We could tell three, two weeks before that pass opened what they were going to do. It was that obvious, okay? That's how experienced they are. They had no idea, right, what they were doing. Their plans were completely wrong. But I think what happened, the biggest thing that happened is their overconfidence, okay? They could not 
even burn a single flag of zero zero in Masha. Twelve hours in Masha. Twelve hours a full mega imperium, yeah. Right, monster kingdom against a seed B, okay. One kingdom. There were two of them. It was ninety three and ninety against one kingdom of zero zero and zero zero we absolutely respect and love you guys for what you did. Zero zero held them back and actually started pushing and ninety three could not even work out a plan to burn one flag. Okay, against zero zero. And poor old Z eighty nine and well then eighty nine and zero two were fighting us on that side while we were building to get and help our allies. Unlike ninety three who didn't even bother coming until it was too late. Who you know, from what I hear, eighty nine and zero you know, zero two were asking them to come to and stick to the original plan which they didn't because they couldn't even beat Zero zero. Shame on you, ninety three. Shame <laughs> yeah. on you for spreading those lies, saying how rubbish we are. When in fact, you guys are absolute noobs. Okay, you know. And karma, like I said, you spread all the lies about us, saying how rubbish and bad we are. And it turned out, like destiny, proved who were the good kingdom and leadership, right? And who were the bad. And guys, you know, yes. I just want to say leadership does a certain amount. It's the players in the kingdoms that help us win. They follow orders. They come out in numbers. They, you know, I've like, I want to talk about Godfather, Bo Fahad, you know, you know, Sultan, uh, Shelby, you know, Pantless. Oshal. You know, uh, Oshal. Oh, man, Oshal was a legend as well. You know, all these guys, all our big players... These guys dropped, you know, each player dropped 50 to 60 million in power for their kingdom, right? We were fighting two kingdoms, 89, and these aren't weak kingdoms. These are top seed B, you know, they could have been seed A if they had a few more bigger accounts. Two top kingdom. I mean, look at zero two. They had, you know, amazing accounts in there. Eighty nine had amazing accounts in there, and we were fighting them. Okay, and our players just did phenomenal. And zero zero did exactly the same. Zero one were blocked in. Okay, Bilal, are you listening? They were blocked in. Yeah, yeah, they were it blocked. It was. It was two versus five. Sorry, two versus four. Okay. Two point, let's say 2.5 versus 4 because we had uh, uh, one alliance from uh, zero 01. 95. Uh, 95, right, they built 18 flags in the whole of Havana. So you tell me, right, how much fighting they would have done. It's yeah, yeah, about game 95. Game. Um, okay. We will... Okay, we'll t let's not talk about 95. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll ask you questions later, okay? Yeah, yeah. So it was basically, we won this KVK, guys, with absolute amazing, you know, fighting, right? Two versus four, basically. And then we pushed, we got our uh, uh, allies out, zero one who've had a lot of internal affairs, they lost their main alliances, they had civil war, everything, you know. However, you know, whenever we asked them, they could muster up, they did what they could and respect to them, okay? So Clown and his team, you know, we love you guys. Thank you for doing what you did do, okay, when what you could do with all the troubles that you went to. Dakota, your absolute legend and uncle, you guys are phenomenal how you run your kingdoms and we owe you a debt of gratitude what you did and how you fought for the coalition, you know. And yes, you know, like, and our players, guys, you were phenomenal. We fought four kingdoms. We were fighting four kingdoms at the same time. We had one LS fighting in one side, our godfather and his team on another side, you know. We had... Umar, UM, and his team on another. Bilal, you were phenomenal, okay? With our, you know, our R4s, you know, you got Mubarak, you got, you know, Anarchy, you got, you know, Seymour, you got, you know, Raz, 
Raz is an absolute diamond exit. You know, um, then you've got, you know, Bo Farhad, I've already mentioned. You've got... Uh, Good you know, manager, Charlotte Miss Lily. So much, you know, uh, Lily, oh my God, she's the glue. Lily is the glue to our kingdom. If she wasn't around, I'm telling you, we would kill her. Our egos would kill each other, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, she's everyone in our, you know, all the R4s in all the alliances, there's too many were absolutely amazing. Guys, if I tell you that whenever we say in half an hour there is a R4 Kingdom call, there will be a minimum of 20 to 25 people on our counts, you know, on our R4 call. That's how good our R4s are. Very responsive, very organized. They know what they're doing. And so always following our phenomenal. decisions. They, they have their uh, uh, suggestions, but they always follow what we say them. Yeah, yeah. Very good team. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, very united one to be honest yeah it's a really good team because look Bilal, they make suggestions if they're good we'll do it yeah, yeah we away. do that yeah you know, for people, sure you know people do that like raz came up with a phenomenal idea you know oshal came up with a really good one right you know yes we have you know someone's got to have the titles of king yeah okay but in our kingdom i think we've had if you look at our thingy over 15 16 people that are you know, that are kings, okay, that have been, you know, we're not worried about the title, but, you know, we know that Bilal is the one that has, because, you know, has the final say, but, you know, if we're not around, any Even one of them... for king's make... title, we like uh, like to say, you should get it, I should sleep, I should take rest, something like this. For... Yeah, yeah. Everyone argues, nobody wants to be king, you know, yeah. because the headache that comes with it. But anyway, so... That's guys. That was uh, that's how our KVK, right? You know, during the fighting was okay. But the most important thing is, like I said, diplomacy. You know, we did really well. We kept the reason why we had such a good KVK is we picked our kingdoms according to making sure that we have a good fight. Okay, if we wanted to, we could have picked as being being you know a respectable leadership, being having a good you know, fighters, and you can see on paper, we could have picked anyone we wanted and, you know, easily had a boring KVK, but we didn't, you know. We we had basically a two versus four KVK, okay, and we won. And, you know, it was phenomenal. You know, it's such a good feeling. And we absolutely embarrassed 93. 93, so uh, from what I hear, I don't know if you've heard right sam is holding 93 as hostage oh wait right? let me check let and me check bro what is the name oh sam he is rank five i think so mate. oh <laughs> uh, i hear that uh, someone was sending me the screenshot he kicked bashashi the real king out of the alliance and uh, now he is uh, leading uh, 93 and sepi who was the king also he abandoned the kingdom and left to 1977 uh, so these yes. were the you know these yes. were the people who were talking rubbish about us and now they are we cannot see the where they gone yeah and this is the thing you know look 77 guys i'm gonna send you out a warning do you know if seppi is there stay away from him i'm telling you now look at what he's done he's not loyal he's left every kingdom he's gone to 93 destroyed it from a really really good kingdom he's taken over it and destroyed that kingdom do you want that to happen that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna say nothing else you use your own brains okay and if you think you can handle him right welcome that's what 93 thought you know welcome because it'll be funny so you know uh, we're just looking out for you guys in 70 you know it's your kingdom you do what you guys need to do but just remember this okay these people are bad news okay we're never gonna say a bad word about any of our kingdom look we're probably gonna be facing 84 
Yes. 84 is an amazing kingdom, okay? Really good leadership, really good organized, and it's going to be an honor to go against them, okay? And that's the truth. We will not, You will never see us say a bad word about 84, and, you know, they have our full respect, like 93 did, okay? Yeah, they, and, they had our know, respect until they started... Uh, Making us look bad by spreading rumors, by telling that we are bad yeah, leaders. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, but like I said, 84. I've been looking at you guys. You've done really well, and you should be proud of your kingdom. And hopefully, you know, if we get matched up, it's going to be an honor to fight you guys. And, and bro, by the way, okay. uh, what do you think about our allies? Uh, our allies, our allies are, are bloody amazing. Okay. Uh, let's talk about first zero one clown and the team, you know, with all the trouble, everything they went to, you know, we had high hopes at the start, but things went wrong internally. But luckily, you know, you know, we we managed. OK. And, you know, they stuck with us. Yeah, we had a few heated, uh, you know, during war or shit like that. Sorry, uh, things like that happened. But, you know, we love clown. We love uh, Alex, you know, and the other guys, you know, they're really good people. They're loyal, you know, they stuck to their word. They did what they could and, you know, they will always have our respect. So you guys in Zero One, we love you always. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, we hear you guys are going to go to another kingdom and, you know, to that kingdom, wherever the, you guys go, you are lucky to have these people really good. Okay. Then, You've got zero, zero. Uh, then you got zero zero, absolute legends. That's all I can say. Like I said, what they did, okay, uh, you know, while we were fighting, you know, eighty nine and zero two, what these guys did against two kingdoms, right, on their own, you know, we're a big strong kingdom, and for us to beat two kingdoms was, you know, okay, it's a good thing, but. These guys are a smaller kingdom, and they just held out. You know, they trusted us. We said we will come, and we gave them our time. We will come, and we were there at that time. And we just said, you defend until we get there. And we gave them, and we stuck to our side, which, well, you did, Bilal, you know, and respect to you for that. We always, like I said, keep those. We stuck to our plan. Ready. Bro, uh, what do you think about our recruiting? Like how it is going on uh, for KVK3? How much people are uh, already ready to come in our kingdom? Yeah, we recruited going really well. You know, after our second victory and, you know, we're becoming quite famous, you know, in this... Uh, yeah, this, even uh, Chinchi made a video for our kingdom and then Chisgul was yeah. also making uh, videos before. Uh, so yeah, we, we are getting famous for sure. Yeah, it's becoming a nice, good kingdom, and because of that, that's helping recruitment. You know, people want to come here. They want to. F they're fighting. They want to fight. They want to get rewards. You know, they want a trusted leadership, and we've got everything. You know, we promise them fights. We give them victory. We give them really good victories. Like you know, sometimes when you think you're not going to win, right? We win. Okay, really well organized, and you know, we make it fun for them. So. And, you know, friends are telling their friends to come here. People, yeah, the, know, people, uh, the people we recruited are... from uh, in KVK2, from same season of Old Kingdom, they are, uh, they are suggesting their friends to come in our kingdom, those who are already in uh, KVK3. Uh, they are inviting yeah, them so, in our kingdom. Know. So we okay, will be let very me, happy. Let me, let me yeah, yeah, if I can get a second to do a, a recruitment pitch. So guys, this is thank you for this slot, Bilal. Anyone from 29, 28, sorry, <laughs> zero, 01 yeah. onwards, same season, okay, you, where you started your account in that season, you are all welcome. We have spots, we have plenty. 9th of March, which is Thursday, th this Thursday, 9th of March at 14 UTC, okay, I'll repeat that, 14 UTC on Thursday, the 9th of March which is in four days' time, our immigration will open for a very, very short time. So if you are there, you, everyone is welcome, same season. You don't need to ask, you can come. Cross season, 
anyone over 1.5 billion kills, okay, who are not in those kingdoms are in older kingdoms because if you are in in this season at the moment, you will not be able to come if you've already. Yeah, yeah only if you are in season of conquest. Only if you are in season of conquest, you can come in our kingdom. And uh, exactly. you, we are Imperium. We will drop Imperium for for a few hours. So the immigration cap will change. So you can come in our kingdom. So be ready at 14 UTC 9 March. That's right, Bilal. Thank you for that. And guys, come have some fun. You know, come and join our family. It's a really good family. And if you don't believe us, just us. message anyone. Yes. Just message. Forget us. Don't talk to us. Message the people in our kingdom. Ask them what it's like. Okay. Do you do you want me to show answer. them the count of Godfather and uh, Oshal they are bringing in our kingdom? Yeah, yeah. Show them, bro. Show them. Let These me find where coming. it is. Uh, okay. okay. In ninety-five official, I think he was talking in here. Godfather. Mhm. Yeah, here he is. Here he is, man. Look at his count. Twenty-three so billion kill points and one hundred sixty-six million power, and he will be ready right. to and make himself zero for KVK three as well. Exactly, like he did this KVK, like he did in his first KVK. This guy is a beast, guys, and he's one of our own. Bro, guess okay? one guess guy. one question for you: How much death do you think Godfather have? On that account, yeah. I would say, do you know what? I don't know. Twenty million. Oh man, twenty million. Are you sleeping? Go on. Bro, it is a hundred million. What the hell? Hundred million, hundred and seven okay. million. Sorry, he is like uh, kill dead of ninety five and ninety together. I mean, uh, look, you know, Godfather is an absolute legend. Oh, Shal, he's bringing an account with over 11 billion kills, yeah. really powerful, stacked as well. Godfather's accounts are stacked. You know, we're well organized. And, you know, you're going to have these guys who will zero themselves for the kingdom, right? Not, you know, proper Krakens. You know, we've got lots of them as well. Okay, so guys, come and have some fun. Join 91. And you know you can get to listen to my voice every Sunday, mm. you know, on our kingdom calls, you know. So yeah, yeah. yeah you, the people but, in our kingdom sometimes <laughs> they say we never get bored listening Shah on the meetings. That's how amazing he is while we are on the meeting. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> thank you to them for saying that. So guys, look, you know, that's my recruitment side over. That's our KVK, you know. Shame on 95. Oh you man, let me talk about us. them, bro. Right. Let me give me a okay. chance, bro. Oh, 95. Oh, okay. You know, all they did was building flags all the way in the map. All they did was building map, and you know, uh, you remember the altars? Yep. Bro, I they that. they they yeah. were the whole kingdom on the altars, and we were fighting there on open field. And every time we fight, they bring only three to ten people. And uh, you also remember yeah. they added like 15, 50 people in KVK2 coalition uh, for uh, chatting. And uh, when we need them to make any decision, they say we need to do any meeting or we need to ask him or that, etc. They, they don't have any uh, good leader as well also. Yes, bro. I know. Look, you know, guys, you know, I don't speak badly of things, but, you know, in Bilal's voice, you can tell. He is very, very, very upset with our allies 95. And in this KVK, so I learned that never choose 95 again in next KVK. Never, ever. You can go alone yeah, well, if you have 95 to choose. Uh, don't choose them. Go ju Just go alone. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I see your points why, why you're saying about 95. A, you know, they had you know, 30 odd people in our coalition chat and not a single person. And at some, you remember at some point we changed the coalition name into 95 Council. <laughs> <laughs> that was Godfather, that was funny. Yeah, yeah, Godfather. He, so much. he changed the whole, co you know, rather than KVK3 Coalition, 
I think he put something like 95 council. Uh, 95 <laughs> council and a few others. <laughs> yeah, and a few others. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, you know, it's you know, it was disappointing that when we needed things to happen in times of war, you know, there were, you know, it took that long 3 to 10 and then we ended up fighting in several fronts hurting our kingdom and that really hurt us. But I think the, the thing that really pissed everyone off in the coalition was that when we were all fighting and the altars opened, the whole of 95, it was so full in that altar that it had more than an Imperium Kingdom in an altar, right? It just begged belief. So that, that meant that players were online, can come out, but they chose not to fight. And that really upset Bilal. And, you know, a lot of people who were nonstop fighting from day one, okay? And, you know, and it just shows that, you know, <clears throat> you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything bad about leadership and things like that. It's about how you control your people and how you make your people want to actually yeah, yeah, they, they had the activity the but they did not know how to make that activity come forward yep and that's it it's that when people don't want to fight for the kingdom and they just want to play for their accounts then you'll see them all at the altar while everyone else is fighting yeah that is a pure sign okay and the leadership can't make them okay and that is a sign of bad leadership. And my advice to 95 is you need to cut all the, the riffraff in the leadership that you've got way too much, number one. Number two is you need to be respectful when you speak to your allies who have a lot of experience and listen to them. And number three is, you know, keep to your commitments that you say you're going to do. That's it. And that's my advice. But Bilal, I think uh, yeah, on yeah. my side, I, you know, I, I will also bef before we end uh, our video, uh, I will also talk about our recruitment again, guys. You know, we got a second star on our uh, alliance. You can see that, and we won our KVK one against our strong kingdom. Uh, they had uh, many T fives in KVK one. We won against them. And in our KVK, this was not 4 versus 4 at all. This was 2.5 versus 4, and we still won this KVK. Even it was very hard, it was not easy at all. And our aim in this kingdom is to win KVK 3 as well. And then we are also focused on Osiris League. And uh, hopefully, we are going to be championed in uh, Realm of Sobic in uh, Serious League. So, if anyone uh, who loves to play a Serious League and the Season of Conquest player and have good uh, equipments and everything, you can contact me and uh, we would love to have you in our kingdom for KVK3 and uh, for our Serious League as well. And those people who are in same season, uh, even if you we just want to need someone who can online every day. We will make you come for war. We will make your kill points much. All we need is if you can come online every day. So even if your kill points are less, uh, even if your power is uh, less, you can still come in our kingdom if you are same season person. So everyone with same season is welcome in our kingdom. And believe me, you will be, you will feel lucky to be in our kingdom. Uh, you can ask anyone in our kingdom that how it uh, it is to be in our kingdom and how is our leadership. We have a static board, we have a title board, everything and uh, everything is well managed in our kingdom. Yep, I, I second that. So guys, come and have some fun. Come and play with us, you know, not play as in like that. I mean, come and enjoy the game of <laughs> rise of kingdoms yeah. with us yeah okay and as tony would say uh tony blaze our, our brother any chicks with nice pictures you know you're always welcome when we're whichever kingdom tony is in yeah okay. yeah tony is in so... yeah 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh man he okay. legend also bro uh, uh, oh, by the so way, guys, let me, Oshal, I am going to uh, give him a legendary trophy. He worked very hard, bro. He worked very hard for yes, our kingdom. I, I think he did, yeah. Guys, I just want to explain about Oshal. Oshal 
is our stats guy, our flag planner, our everything, basically. You know, he does a lot of those things. And he puts in, as well as he's got a very, very, you know, important job in real life, okay? And he makes a lot of time for the kingdom. And we want to show our appreciation to him as well, you know. So, Bilal is going to just give him a legendary trophy. Yeah, yeah, trophy already done. He got the legendary you. trophy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Okay. Um, and, yeah. I think yeah, that's from it, my bro. side, Bilal. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me on, viewers. Everyone yeah, yeah, bro. Thank, thank you very you much for, for uh, giving time to me and to our viewers to explain the KVK and what happens in our KVK. And I hope that people will like our video. And don't forget to subscribe okay. my channel, uh, like this video, share with your friend, and don't forget to come in our kingdom 2891. Boom, boom. See you later, guys.